Hey guys, and welcome back to the Skullcast for our 100th episode, which, as you can probably already tell, is a little different from normal. We are going to be playing through the Dreamcast game, Berserk Guts. Sorry, it's not. I got it mixed up. It's Sword of the Berserk Guts Rage. A very long title for basically the Berserk Dreamcast game, which is what everybody calls it. Nobody calls it Guts Rage unless you're in 2000. Uh, anyway, I'm joined. I'm Walter, and I'm joined today by. Azil, which is me. Hi. And. And me, your friendly neighborhood Griff. Excellent. I'm going to go ahead and launch it and get started because I hate watching a YouTube video where they don't show the game for a while. That's the worst. So I'm going to share my screen with you guys in one moment. You should be able to see it now. Black screen. Mm hmm. Waiting Excellent. for the sound. Yep, yep. Okay. All right. So this game came out in 2000, which historically is important because there was no English Berserk anything at that point. So when you see Guts and Casco on screen, you have no idea what the fuck is happening. And it came out in um, 1999 in Japan. Game... Sure, people in Japan at least had the background for knowing that the anime was already out there, the manga was already out there, tons of advertising for Berserk, but for English speakers... There was. This is the very first. This is the starting point for Berserk's history in, in America. Um, so the game is a work of fiction. So don't take it too seriously. Those that are watching this, that's good to know. I'll be quiet for the dialogue portions. Those will be what I talk over. An outcast warrior enters a land plagued by an evil fate. He is not like ordinary men, for he carries the Dragon Slayer, a mighty blade of retribution, whose fury knows no equal. <laughs> His enemies will know true fear once he starts to swing. So yeah, as you may already tell, I'm running this on an emulator. There are some slight issues, none that are game-breaking, nothing even close to what I would call game-breaking. A few audio hiccups and slow down every now and then. Does not break the experience. Um, one really interesting or funny, first of all, I'm going to switch to easy. Don't laugh. There's a, there's a good reason for this, people. Uh, if you actually want me to play through this game in under three hours, easy is the way to do it. Otherwise, it's mm -hmm. endlessly spawning people. Uh, prize box. That's a weird, uh, badly translated extra stuff box. Um, so, again, there's no context for Berserk coming out. Imagine renting this at Blockbuster Video, which, yes, was still around in 2000, getting Guts Rage and going, what is this game about? Okay. Huh? <laughs> What's this? <laughs> what the hell is the God Hand? What 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 happened? Who is Casca and why is her name in caps? Is that an acronym? Casca. <laughs> she survived the eclipse. What's the eclipse? This, this is all you know. Maybe useful information for those that are familiar with the series. But if not, description of the Berserk world. I like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I haven't even sure actually seen accurate. this. Oh, Rage of Guts, Sword of the Berserker, Guts. Huh? <laughs> wow. <laughs> So yeah, this whole section is interesting. Um, this was an alternate title. <laughs> yeah. So again, there being no background, I, I imagine it's be pretty confusing. So this is nice to have some some context for the world, but there's just a lot all at once with no context and no visuals. It's all text, obviously. But it is it, it's well, kind of an it, interesting novelty now to go back and look at. <clears throat> it's also sadly was at the time you know sort of the only official source of information we had you know for the series those of us that were already following it from the anime or the manga or both so mm -hmm. you know all the mistranslations and typos in here pretty consequential <laughs> like it would you would see these you know, oh yeah spellings and for it's years. interesting because he's guts in the title of the game he's guts in this section and yet, you'll see when we start the game, they call him Gatsu throughout the entire thing. All the sequences, all the story sequences, it's Gatsu, which is a little yeah. annoying. Uh, and I, I myself typed Gatsu out for probably until 2001 or so when it was pointed out to me how wrong I was. But yeah, things like that trickle around still. We'll go ahead and get started. They've got the hear it pretty close, though. Close! I've seen it worse. Yeah. Yeah. The hill it... <laughs> So again, I'm going to try to be quiet during the story sequences just so people can understand and follow along. 
It looks really good. Uh, damn it! <laughs> Whole thing shot. <sighs> Great. I've got no luck. These things always happen to me. Rita, stop your complaining and come help me. <sighs> oh well. Okay, old man. I do owe you. Hey, Job! You help, too. After all, you're as strong as two men. Yeah. I love the animation on these guys. What it's the? amazing. My god, bandits! <laughs> Whoa. We can help you fix your wagon, all right. It'll cost you, though. <laughs> hey, now. You're a little cutie, ain't you? You'll fetch a good price in the market. Don't touch me, you bastard! You'll get nothing from me! Huh? Oh. Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? Oh. Who is she? Whoever she is, there's something wrong with her. <laughs> Yeah, but look at her. She's pretty hot. She's pretty hot. hot this too, for some this guy rates like all the women. <laughs> the cuties yeah. hot. Yeah, you're yeah. right, buddy. These and guys are pretty hot, too. Over here. <laughs> Stop! Ah, what the... He looks pretty cool. Even Low Poly looks pretty well. That's one. Yeah. I think they did a pretty good pretty job good translating. Yeah. 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 Basically, Your big sword won't save you, tough guy. Come on, let's get him. So we're gonna very quickly learn what kind of game this is in a moment. Here, it's a hack and slash, and you, uh, where you just gallons of blood, <laughs> lots of it. Yeah, yeah, you got. Yeah, you got. Well, it looked like shit um, nowadays, you know, it was pretty good at the time, you know, when it came out. Yeah. I remember I was I was impressed by the graphics. I was like, damn, man, this yeah. game looks great. Like, I was really I'm, I'm quite impressed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, it, uh, Go ahead. It was also funny just to see, like, things that we've seen, you know, dozens of times. It feels like in the manga being represented in, like, animation, even as poorly as it was. Like, Casco wandering into the scene of the band there. Yeah. And then, uh, you know what's coming next when they attack her. But yeah, it was just sort of funny to see that in real time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love doing that. And yeah, you can put your Dragon Slayer away, although there's really no reason to throughout the whole game. Um, yeah, the, the options here are, of course, I have my throwing knives, I can throw throwing knives. None of the sub-weapons are particularly useful. You know, if you want to just get through the game, you can more or less jam on the Dragon Slayer buttons. You have a strong attack, you have a light attack, they're they're not that different. Well, honestly. I mean, that's not true. You know, in some environments, you know, you know, can create a problem with the Dragon Slayer, you know. That's true. Like, it's, like it's in sorry. corridors and stuff. I misspoke. It's not heavy and light. It's actually horizontal and vertical, which actually is pretty cool. So there's my horizontal attack. There's mm -hmm. my vertical attack. So yeah, you're right. That is useful. I just totally forgot. Oh, thank you, brave swordsman. You saved our lives. Massacre 30 people. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Tonal so shift. Man, if someone is thanking you, the least you can do is listen. <laughs> and while you're at it, we need food and some money. Some fine wine will do nicely for me. What the heck is that? A bug? How rude, girly. <laughs> I'm not a bug, I'm an elf. An elf, damn it! Haven't you ever seen an elf? I'm the adorable puck. It's a uh, Liquid Snake's voice actor, everybody. I've never seen one. Who are you? <laughs> My name is Rita. I'm a traveling performer. This mean-looking guy is Gatsu. He's my buddy and carries my house, you could say. Oh. <laughs> and that's our Casca. Are you mercenaries? If so, you're strange ones. Traveling around with a woman in her state? I am sorry. I meant no offense. Now, don't be mad. I'm in the same position as you, after all. Huh? Finally! 
Got the wagon mended. We're off. Come on. Okay, Pops. Um, uh, I, I mean, we, we're going to give a performance in the next town. Why don't you come and watch? There's just one road to town and you can't miss it. Hey, what's keeping you, girl? <laughs> Coming. And, and, and I mean, um, thanks for saving us. See ya. Okay. <laughs> a performer, eh? I kind of like her. Hey, Casca. Where are you going? Oh. She probably wants to see that show. The town's right over there. Well, why don't you take her? Forget it, Puck. I don't have time to waste on something like that. But even you need to take a break once in a while. All work and no play will make you a grump. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. I want to go, I want to go. We both want to go. Please, please, please. Oh, please, come on, let us go. Let's live a little. Come on, Gatsu. Please. <laughs> sure, whatever. We need to get food anyway. I'm starving. Yeah! Hear that, Casca? Yippee! He said we're going. <laughs> hmm. I only got a glance. But I'm sure that guy in the wagon. <laughs> Which pretty confusing line if you don't know yeah. anything about Berserk <laughs> or the brand or mm. I also feel like Guts would have just left ten minutes ago. Like he would he'd like standing around with Rita babbling at him, but not usually what he goes for. I really like this opening sequence, um, but I do have a lot to say, of course, setting up this game, what it is, who made it. Um, what's really interesting about this game throughout is, yes, it was created by Ukes, which traditionally makes wrestling games, or came to make wrestling games. What is really interesting about it is that Miura is all over this game. He did the story, he did the characters, he did um, all the designs, you know. He said in the interview for this game that, you know, he invested a lot of time in this. So, and that's great. And you can actually feel it a lot of times. There's so many sequences where you really, it does really feel like a manga, you know, scene come to life. Yeah, it is uh, extremely authentic, if nothing else. And that's honestly the primary reason I'm showing you this, because a lot of people have not experienced this. And yet I think it's, parts of it are really cool. Parts of it are hokey, part of it, parts of it are also really cool. I mean, it's, it's kind of fallen out of canon, but it basically was canon when it came out. Like, it was not only canon, yeah. but it was like, it was ahead of the series. It showed us things that hadn't even happened yet taking place. Yeah. Mm. It was meant to be canon, and it's still significant to these days, you know, if you care about the manga, so... Yeah, it's, it's one of those things where I, I don't know why anyone would want to exclude it or want to not willingly not see it just because it's kind of quasi canon because it does have Mira all over it and it is cool so it's just become kind of irrelevant to the larger yeah. story yeah. of age Ta -da! think she knows say that <laughs> judo's love child perhaps Oh boy. Not quite as impressive. <laughs> That's the guy. That's the guy that sold me that car. He, he's possessed by the Mandragora! Uh -oh. Damn monster! The Mandra what? Get the hell out of our town! Uh -oh. How the hell with you? We're not gonna <laughs> let a Mandragora zombie go free! It's Balzac's voice actor. Right? Mm. Mm. So, so it's not that the guy who was going, oh, they're hot! Yeah, it was the same guy. There's like oh three voice God. actors it's in this game. pretty much like the same thing? voice for every other character. Oh, he's from... Oh, he's straight from Resident Evil 2. I know, yeah. he's totally Resident Evil 2. Wow, yeah. He's a G-Virus! <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Yeah, there's plenty. You guys can talk about pretty much whatever, despite, you know, there's not much to say about it. Um, 
There are boss fights in this game, as you can see. I'll start with one thing, which is why the title of the game in English is pretty stupid. Yeah. In Japanese, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's, you know, uh, Berserk Millennium Falcon arc, which is the first time the Millennium Falcon arc was mentioned. Two years before, you know, appeared in the manga. And it's uh, the Flowers of Oblivion chapter, uh, which refers, of course, to the Mandragora. As we'll get to know uh, in a few moments in the game. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Wow. <coughs> it convinced me to him. Clear. <laughs> <laughs> you got what you deserved, you Mandragora freak! It's disgusting. The lovely citizens of Midland. Oh, yeah. The average berserk Shut person up. is still Shoot a terrible, down. terrible person. <laughs> yeah. Damn you! He didn't do anything wrong! You didn't have to kill him! I don't feel any mercy for monsters. <laughs> You're wrong! He, wasn't he did turn into a giant monster. I don't know why she's been so defensive. The main antagonist of the game. Oh, spoiler, dude. Oh, yeah. yeah, sorry. The main good guy of the game. <laughs> this guy. <Good> friend. <laughs> Everyone stand back. Ganondorf. Baron Balzac <laughs> is here for an inspection. Lord Balzac. Do not touch the body. Named after the French writer. Yeah. These huge sword wounds. Was it you? Did you do this? Yeah. I'm Balzac, ruler of this town. Sir, I must thank you. Unfortunately, once people with this disease run amok, they rampage until they die. Disease? It started some years ago in a nearby town. No one has found a cure for it yet. That woman... Is she also possessed by the Mandragora? No. She's got nothing to do with that thing. Perhaps. Still, I perceive that her mind is not sound. Listen, I believe our doctors might be able to help her. What do you mean? We are researching cures for the Mandragora possession. The symptoms appear the same, so perhaps we can help her. Also, we must repay you for your aid. Come to my castle and bring the girl with you. Fine. Show us the way. Excellent. Then it's decided. You shall be guests in my castle. Take care of the other one. Understood, my lord. Pretty much the only carrot that could get guts to go along with a guy Sir, like this. Mm -hmm. Proceed with the plan. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> should, I, should I proceed with the evil secret plan? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, these guys, these guys are on the level. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny how relevant this is, just with Casca coming back in the manga. So. We, oh yeah. The parallels. I mean, one scene in particular in the game, of course, is, you know, was always kind of the reference point for that being a possibility. Yeah. Just another sort of amazing thing found in this game. I really like Balzac. Having replayed the game recently, I think he's a cool character. Very much fits in Berserk. He's yeah. kind of yeah. like a... He's a tip, yeah, he's typical noble, sure, but he also has this, like, scientist mm -hmm. aspect to them, which you're going to see kind of renaissance or dark age scientist, whatever you want to call that. Middle age, medieval scientist type mentality to yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah, he seems like a very, like a renaissance man. Formally, there is something I would like you to see. No, it is too dangerous for them. I want you to come alone. 
Don't worry, Gatsu. I'll take good care of her. That is a hollow promise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if something happens, come get me. Needless to say, because Mira did all the character art, you know, featuring in the game is a cool thing. The art book itself is also really cool. Mm. Okay. Who might that be? Wow, she's beautiful. Who could she be? She's pretty hot. <laughs> she's pretty hot. <laughs> What is it? Nothing. Forget it. This place is... A Mandragoran holding cell. There's always the danger that they may go berserk like that man today, so we keep them quarantined here for our needs. Currently, we are doing research into a cure for this horrible disease. But in order to prevent the people from becoming too panicked, we're keeping this place secret from the villagers. Tell me. Do you know anything about Mandragora possession? Nothing. A few years ago, a strange disease began to spread in a village under my rule. Suddenly, one day the entire village was possessed by a root-like creature. The possessed became crazed. No one knew what caused it. Rumor has it that these bizarre, never-seen-before plants began to pop up here and there throughout my lands. They moved on their own each night, taking possession of unsuspecting people. Because of their human-like shape, and because of their strange effect on their host, people called it Mandragora, and were terrified of it. The plants attach and inject a poison that drives people mad, but yet it cures all illness in the host body. Legend has it that the plant has the ability to also cure the infected and bestow the benefits of youth and vigor. The legend is true. Wait, I have heard of it. They say that when it's pulled from the ground, it screams in pain. And probably hears that scream. That's right. They die instantly. But because of its benefit, there is no end to those willing to risk death to get it. An ulterior However, motive here. When you pull it from the earth, it dies immediately. To refine serum, you need a mandragora heart. Heart. When a mandragora plant grows into a great tree, it gains a heart. Even when cut out, it does not die, but instead starts to regenerate. The drug made from such a heart would allow us to cure this cursed mandragora possession. Before I began searching for a cure, I tried attacking a village of mandragorans. I wish to prevent further spread of the disease, you see. But the monsters fought back ferociously. I've never seen such carnage. I survived and brought back some of the heart. But just a piece of a Mandragora heart. Sadly, it wasn't enough. To cure so many people, we need to find a larger heart. Get to the point. What for? That village is on the edge of my land. 
It still stands, and the heart is there. I see. Lots of cutscenes. I've sent my soldiers <laughs> to the village countless times since then to get the heart of the great tree, but not a single one has returned alive. But we desperately need it for our research. I've seen your abilities, Gatsu. I have a job for you. A job? A proposition. Infiltrate the Mandragora village and take the heart of the Great Tree. As compensation, we will heal your female companion. How does that sound? Foolish. The drug we make from the heart of the Great Tree should be able to heal her illness. Let's help each other, friend. I don't trust you, Balzac. I sense that you're not coming clean with me on this. But I'll do it for my Casca. Excellent. We have an agreement. You can trust him. Look at that guy. <laughs> totally. We desperately need it for our totally moral research. Stop. Yeah. Be wandering all over. We just want to help people. Huh? Let go of me. I didn't do anything. Shut up. You were a fool to come to this town with that monster. Now there's now Liquid Snake. Pay. Who is that? It is Liquid Snake. <laughs> oh no. Casca? Help. Hmm? What? What's going on here? Behind <laughs> D. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, this character. With a badly translated name. Dunham, I think. In the town. It's, it's Dunteth in this game, but it's supposed to be Dante. She oh. fancies herself their protector. She and I have very different positions. And so far, she has turned down my requests for help. He's talking about the nun Perhaps in the village. She will listen to you. Yeah. Sorry. I don't get along too well with holy people. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me for interrupting, my lord, but since the item we discussed is near completion, <clears throat> we really don't need his help. The results of our research so far should be enough to succeed. I'm sick of your Fuck opinions you, and time wasting. Enough. I won't wait any longer. But, but, my lord... What's he talking about? Yeah, that guy's got loose lips, man. He just won't shut mm -hmm. up. Sir, the enemy has breached the castle. <laughs> what the hell? Impossible. How could that be? We seem to have underestimated their strength. Pardon me. I must go attend this emergency. <laughs> I do like how it really is like a berserk, you know, chapter come to life, basically. Yeah, just, totally. You know, the dialogue. I mean, it's it's like you said, cutscene and dialogue heavy. Sometimes you have to kind of squint to see it, but it's totally there. Um, yeah, I mean, even the like the camera angles and things are, are pretty decent. Yeah, like while they're conversing. That seems like not a great idea. Oh shit! I forgot about that. Yeah, so this is a you're kind of your introduction to corridor action in this game, where walls can really be a problem because you'll collide with them with the Dragon Slayer and then you uh, you're, you're fucked. So you gotta have to choose your attacks wisely. Yeah, the main source of difficulty for this game is that you know when the Dragon Slayer gets stuck. Ugh. I like the little disgusting guys. Oh, there's a lot of really funny character designs in this game for sure. Um, the art book shows you all of Miura's original designs, and he said that he did them as detailed as he did so that he didn't want them to be lost in conversion to polygons. So, they're pretty, pretty direct. Sometimes you break oh. open these boxes, you can, um, uh, find items. There we go. Nope, not there. So yeah, items are scattered throughout health, or elf powder rather, and bombs and cannonballs to shoot through arm cannon. 
mostly just empty though. They seem to um, spawn based on if you've used them or not. I haven't used anything, so there's nothing there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was about to do an awesome execution swing. If you stow away your Dragon Slayer on, on your first draw, it will often do an instant kill, which is pretty cool. Very guts move, I think. Well, yeah, it would be more appropriate to be hacking like guys ten times with the Dragon Slayer. Yeah. Is that a toilet? What is that thing? A barrow. Oh, okay. Broken barrow. It could have been a toilet, a medieval toilet for a jail cell. Well, I mean, you could you use know. it as a toilet. Yeah. Where is this last guy? This is the game, by the way. Hunting down the last squishy guy <laughs> somewhere off screen. Where He's the fuck is he? A corner. He's defeated you by escape. Oh, there he is. There he is. Where, Where are you? Dude! Running away. I'm running a stream here. I'm on a tight deadline. Looks like he's from uh, Half Life. Yeah. Okay, now the door will open. Get fucked. These guys. Yeah, so there's lots of permutations here. Ugh, jeez. Um, there's an interview in the art book. Course, and we don't have it fully translated, but some of the brief things I know he says is uh, you've chosen part this part of the story, the Mandragora design idea, because you can make lots of permutations of it. It made sense for a video game to have different variations of enemies, and how could you do that that's thematically tied together? Mandragora is that connecting tissue. Yeah, pretty clever. I think it probably also helped, like, sell the game, pretty much, like, why it came to America. Like, as a zombie game. Oh, yeah, that's true. They took her away! These strange men came rushing in and... What? I fought as hard as I could, but there were too many of them. My Cusco. They went toward the back gate! Hurry this way! How could they get this far? Forgive me, my lord. They will pay for this insult with their lives. Naturally. <laughs> now hurry and squash them. Yes, sir. That guy is a great berserk weasel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of reminds me of the mayor from Coca Castle. You know, prior to if, if he was actually had some balls on him, maybe. He reminds me more of the you know right hand man of the count. <clears throat> oh yeah. yeah. Sorry, Where I got him go? confused. Relax, friend. Huh? This is an ugly dog. Hey, isn't this Rita's dog? Can Puck talk what, to animals? Guy? What's he saying, Puck? He says he knows where Casca is. Good. Where? I don't remember that being he a thing. I, is that a thing? Good, let's go. He can feel emotions of humans and okay. other things, but he but can't really like speak to them. He I really like the, the way this scene looks. Talk with the animals. <laughs> I love. The glowing puck in the dark yeah. streets and the dark. Yeah. This, this looks very berserk to me. Yeah, glowing oh, puck yeah. is uh, awesome. <laughs> Again, <laughs> kill the guy in the alleyway. <laughs> this is reminiscent of the Black Souls in the dark, you know. Yeah, yeah. Totally. Like dark alleyways, you know, fighting knights. It's pretty cool. Well, yeah, it's amazing, like how much this translates. Like you can tell, Mira's fingerprints are all over it, and just it's it really does translate well. Like they, Get this guy's they wall. put a lot of. <laughs> Sorry, they Griff. put a lot of effort into the character designs in the game. Yeah. So yeah, as you can see, because it's a tight corridor, I pretty much only get one or two swings off before I collide. You can't do any horizontal this, moves here. This one thing I gotta say about this game is that it's, the enemies are quite varied, you know, honestly, especially for the yeah. time. You know, again, I mean, you, you gotta think back to when this was released, you know. Games were not very, you know, graphically evolved at the time. So in some of these sequences, you don't even necessarily need to kill everybody, but sometimes you kind of do have to mow, mow through them just to progress, or you'll you'll die. Um, kind of a pain because there are a limited number of continues in this game. That's why I put it on easy. That's another reason I put it on easy. There's elf dust, but you'll, as you can see, you only have two heals, uh, and then you'll have to start scouring the environment for them. Sometimes you get them by beating a level, but that's not consistent. How many continues do you get in this game? Seven. That's only okay. um, easy. I think normal has five. Yeah, yeah, it's five right. normal and three odd. Fuck that. That's so dumb. Yeah. Get out of the way, fuck. I'm just trying to leave. I'm coming. Look at the guy running. 
Yeah. All right, yeah. finally, Zerk mode. He does look like he's just shot his pants. Yeah. It's probably, the armor's probably un really uncomfortable, I would guess. Yeah. Keep so when you're in, when you're in this mode here, I'll call it Berserk mode because why not? Um, obviously your hits are not repelled by walls. It makes things a lot easier. You're faster. Yeah. Don't take yeah, damage. It's, it's kind of got a strategic use to it, you know, because when you're like in a tight spot, you use it, you can just mold down these yep. guys. It's really, it, it really feels empowering because you're so, you feel so disempowered whenever you can't swing your sword when you want to, so. I did just use an elf dust to make it through this level. Oh man, you want that elf dust gun? <laughs> That's right. That dust. Got never, never, he's getting high on his own supply too with Puck. <laughs> This is Buck, my dealer. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is this really item is like, get excellent. Like Mira made a video game. <laughs> like it just from like the effort he put into it personally. Like he really got you know into doing it. So this big this guy here can be a real pain. Use a cannon. Oh my god. Do him quickly. Yeah, and the AI is can be just merciless and brutal if you get surrounded. You just you know, you get interrupted by every attack that gets hit by you. So you can get chain attack or chain interrupted to the dead, and you can basically do nothing. So I do remember um, just to touch briefly on my exposure to this game. You know, I never owned a Dreamcast, but um, Cronus on the forum, who was my roommate for a long time in real life. He owned one, and so I always played it at his house. I do remember this part of the game being very, or this game being kind of frustrating to play. That was my rem memory of the experience of it. Yeah. Well, I had a good time with it. It was fun. Don't get me wrong, but there are parts that are just like, oh boy, this was uh, this was rough. Yeah, you, yeah, you kind of get to you know learn it by heart. <coughs> this part's funny. What are you talking about? You're gonna get it. <laughs> Better tell us or there's gonna be trouble. Come on, come on. Spit it out, tough guy. I don't know who you are, but now that you've seen this much, we can't let you leave alive. Bring it on. Wait, <laughs> he is, is not our enemy. Huh? Yes, sir. I am sorry. I was just told about you a moment ago. Rita! Ha <laughs> <laughs> Oh, like the Griffith Rickard slap. What the slap. hell do you think you're doing? Huh? You blew it! You think you're so tough with that big hunk of metal hanging on your back? But you can't even protect one woman! Some hero. Do not be mad at her, Gatsu. She was almost killed by Bolzak's underlings. What? Your companion is inside. I am Dunteth. Come inside for now. We'll talk later. Also sounds like the narrator at the beginning. Yep. <laughs> Which also sounds kind of like the narrator voice from Diablo. He's in that as well, actually. Uh, hmm. One of the spies sows them. Mm -hmm. These ruins have been here for ages. Whenever war broke out, the townspeople always escaped here. Now it's become the hideaway for us, the resistance. Did you see a strange room in Balzac's castle? where they keep the Mandragorans, a room like a jail. Yes. He said they're researching a cure for Mandragorans. That's a damn lie. He... Balzac. He wants to use the Mandragorans as his secret weapon. Hmm. He says he's forcing them out of the towns and villages because they're dangerous and conducting human experiments in the name of research. But anyone who discovers the truth does not live long. Like this young woman 
almost found out. Hmm. Well, why did you try to break into the castle? We were trying to free our captured comrades. We just happened to see your companion and took her along, thinking she was a victim of his human experiments. To keep the Mandragorans a secret, Balzac forbids the townspeople from leaving this town. The same applies to people who come here. Once you enter the town, you can never leave. At least, alive. That's horrible. We have lived on this land since ancient times. This town, being so close to the border, has been occupied by many nations and armies as a strategic base. Each time a new ruler takes over, it is we who suffer. Balzac, was he like that too? Not at first. His enemies feared him like a monster, and he did not oppress us, his subjects. We thought he was an enlightened and kind ruler. Now, he's different. He's changed ever since the disease appeared. He's turned into a tyrant. Where's Casca? She's in a room below. I will show you the way, friend. Uh -oh. Now this is pretty cool because you just get some traditional uh, berserk skeletons. Oh no! Oh, this guy. Have the ghouls <laughs> attacking. That was a. Uh, yeah. I was messing with the volume settings and the like, specter snuck up on me. These guys are real pain in the ass. But yeah, I, I do. This is very much you know volume one, black swordsman stuff. Uh -oh. Yeah. Jesus Christ! I'm just out. getting mowed down. <laughs> I started this fight off badly. <laughs> There's a lot of these goddamn things. So that's one of the interesting uh, details about the technical part of this game. You know, why the Dreamcast? Why not the PlayStation? Uh, the interview in the era says it's the number of characters you could show on screen. With the PlayStation, it would have been about two to three characters at one time. The Dreamcast, because of the you know, different technology, you can show up to ten characters at once. So that's why you want the Dreamcast. Yeah. Yeah. These specters are a real pain. They'll just drain your life. They can go down in one hit, but if they just get near you or close to you, they just suck you dry. There we go. This drawbridge is down. I'm just going to run for it. Fuck it. See ya. See you, ghosts. Sorry, specters. Oh, God. Just want to make it through. Another great example of the uh, problem of walls. On this side, I have no problem. Oh, my God. Yeah. Whew. Thankfully, I'm still in berserk mode. Oh, of course, there's one left. One left. Come on. It's pretty neat. Reminiscent of uh, when Guts had to escape, you know, a prison tower with Yeah. Yeah. These guys are slightly more formidable than those shitty guards there. Well, only because it's you who's playing. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not exactly the most skillful, but I should get us through the game. It does kind of like make us look bad, though, whenever... You haven't used a swing. cannon yet. You should, you know. I'm trying to save up. Away. I want to save up. I want to get at least two shots in. Before I start using them. <laughs> you're saying I should demonstrate it, is what you're saying, right? Yeah. I'll do it on the last guy. Boom. <laughs> oh, gotta see that. That's how it works. Look at that. That yeah. was worth it. Hey, what the hell are those things? You're kind of a monster it's too, Guts. Yes, she's down below. This way. Yeah, the story the sections... <laughs> 
The story sections are so much better than they had any right to be, honestly, for this era of games. Like, this, you didn't have lengthy narrative cutscenes like this. This, this was not normal. You know, yeah, Metal Gear Solid came out, that had a lot of them, sure. This was by far the, you know, uh, oddity to have something this long and in-depth. Yeah. These guts. Thanks for your help. Where will you go now? I made Balzac a promise. I'm going to Mandragora Village to get the heart of a great tree. What? Didn't I just tell you he is a ruthless tyrant? So why? I need him. That thug knows something. If he has a drug that can cure her, I need to take the chance. A cure? In his castle. He runs a lab to create a cure. I need the drug that he's making. But you have no proof he's telling the truth. Dunteth! If it is true, we might be able to save our boy. We need Balzac's research if we are going to bring him back to us, just as he says. Even if he is a devil, we need him. <sighs> That may well be true, but I just can't accept it. Damn it! How can we rely on one who oppresses us? <gasps> this town of ours, its bricks are the bones of our ancestors. Its mortar, their blood and brains. Just think of that. Oh, that's just plain silly. What? To let your fate be decided by all this talk of ancestors' blood. To let the past tie you down. The present belongs to the living, not the dead. Are you going to trade this child's future for the past? Rita, that's just the way it is. People are bound by the spilled blood of ancestors. This is very, like, that's deep wrong. mirror stuff. Totally. They are individuals. Listen here. They can be free, not bound by anything. They can go wherever the wind takes them. You... You have no family, do you? No. Rita, you're still young. There will come a time when you'll shed blood for your own cause. I just hope that it's something worthy of that blood. I just love how he huh. lays out one of the major themes of Berserk Rita. while also it has like utility for the characters. Like it's not just out there just because like it has a function in the story. I think that's really, really cool. Yeah. Rita. Puck. I've always depended only on myself. No one else using my own strength or taming me. No one to love. Then job. That Mandragoran guy was... <laughs> he followed me because I fed him. I was surprised at first, but he was really childlike. Always smiling, laughing, even though he didn't understand. I can't believe that now he's gone. Forgive me, Rita. Oh, wow, he apologized. I can't believe it. Oh. <laughs> no, it wasn't your fault. If you'd done nothing, he would have hurt that girl. It's me who should apologize. What I said earlier was horrible. Bound by spilled blood, huh? You might be right about that, Rita. This does not sound That's like guts at all. <laughs> why you have to find something worth shedding blood for? A cause? Or even a person? That's so. Done talking, folks. I have made my decision. I am going with you to the Great Tree to get its heart. Then we will negotiate with Balzac. We will tell him if he wants the heart. He has to give us the medicine. Acting lessons. I will take your <laughs> companion to where she will be safe. Wait. I don't trust you completely yet. Besides, I'm the only one that can take care of her. The only one. I can protect her. But... 
Listen here, worried about creatures attacking her? If that's it, you have no worries, big man. Huh? Elves live in this spring. I'm certain of it. It's the source of the town's water. Our ancestors built a shrine here. They prayed to the spirits. Oh wow, well, I, I forgot about this. for the rest of the rooms, but this one's quite safe. No evil spirits will come here. Uh, and anyway, while you're gone, the rest of the rooms were full of skeletons. <laughs> That's a good point. I mean, there's nothing to worry about. I'll I'll look after her. I see. Okay. Thanks, folks. Keep this <laughs> probably going Whoa! you too. Hey, is that how you treat your best buddy? Mm -hmm. I'm off. Can barely hear what you know the guts voice is like, saying. Oh, the end, he started just mumbling. <laughs> he's like a Mandragoran himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just like having my job back. You seem so happy all the time. Amazing. Yeah, you should see what she's dreaming about. <laughs> oh no! The research turned out splendidly. Jeez. Now, with the strength of these Mandragoran fighters, <laughs> we don't more need wrong. to bother with the heart of the great tree. Well, I'll be. It's the young lady from before. We meet again, little lady. I must ask you to come with us now. And then he plays read. Oh, no. That would be nice. If I recall, it doesn't work out well for Duntef here. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Mandragoran monster! Oh, we yeah, have right. The bear Mandragora. This is where things yeah. get a little wacky. <laughs> With all the forest creatures. Well, the, the mandragora are like ostrich is where it gets. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, there's one more surprise for you the mandragoran frogs. <laughs> <laughs> These are the best. The dogs with the chain, the spiked Spike collar. collar. <laughs> it's like a Mario uh, bad guy. <laughs> Yeah, chomp. Yeah, it's got the, it's mm. got the chomp bark, yeah. Ruff, ruff, ruff. You know, one of the things that we didn't really dwell on is the fact that, you know, this game starts with Guts traveling with Casca, mm -hmm. but at the time it was released, you know, Guts is not even reunited with her in the manga yet, so, right. wow, yeah. you know, it takes place after the whole, you know, retribution arc, uh, conviction arc, I mean, which is, uh, yeah, it's quite interesting, I mean, it shows, again, yeah, how far ahead, ahead it was, you know, at the time. I do remember actually people talking about, you know, speculating at the time about how they would join up with this part of the series, because again, it wasn't even, even close to concluded with the conviction arc yet. Yeah. It was in the mid, they had not even begun the uh, incarnation ceremony, like all that action had yet to go down. I yeah. think it was just volume 18 that had just come out. Uh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. A testament to how much Mira bought in on this. Like he was pretty much laying, like nothing was off the table. He was laying it all out there. Yeah. I mean, we'll get to to see it later on. But you know, there's a lot of stuff in these games that you know foretells what's going to happen later on in the manga. God, there's a lot of these guys. <laughs> oh, I may as well mow them down. Let's just do it. No guts, no your sword. Yeah, that's what. You're... <laughs> Once you commit to one direction, that's it. You're stuck um, in that direction until the end. This came out in 1999 in Japan, right? So do you Correct. think, like, in 97, yeah. Mira sees, like, Final Fantasy VII make a bazillion dollars? <laughs> and it's like, son of a bitch! <laughs> like, I gotta get in on this game stuff. Oh, oh yeah, there are quick time events. Get your I, quick I, time I, sequence ready. I forgot about that. Uh, I made that one. There are alternate paths. They do join up with each other, so it's not like a dramatic difference. Sometimes it's a time saver or an annoyance saver, but they're not like wholly unique. Oh shit, there's the frogs. Well, the frogs are coming. <laughs> oh my, it's a lot of blood for a frog. <laughs> I have no memory of those frogs. <laughs> You're in the wrong neighborhood, motherfucker. <laughs> oh god, the frog oh god. clan is gonna no. get you. I'm running from these frogs. Ah, uh, careful of the bridge. Yeah, I know, I'll get it. Another quick time. Oh! I do enjoy this one. <laughs> <laughs> A little slow. 
It's really embarrassing when you miss that because Guts uh, grabs for the bridge, fails, and then falls on his face. It's not very Guts like. These guys again. There's also just bandits in here. Just the same dudes. Yeah. I'll send you back where you came from. You may have murdered me before, but now I'm <laughs> Oh man. I hope they don't actually get me, because my health is a little low. Use your health powder, bro. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Hey, use your bombs. The bombs are so useless. I'll, I'll do it real quick for fun. Okay, it, did, it got rid of those <laughs> hey, two guys. Well, Whoa. that guy survived. Use destroying knives. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely. <laughs> you guys get some axe in them. One really um, strange part of this game, or not strange, but just like not sure how useful it is. You can actually deflect the axe throws. Like they added that as a part of the game, but there's no utility for that. Like I can't imagine a scene where you would try to do that. It just kind of happens, you know, randomly. randomly. There's no chance for me to start attacking the, the axes. There's eight people on the screen attacking me. Well, it's probably because one dev of Bastard would be cool and he it's cool. did it, you know. I just wish I had more of a chance to take advantage of it. Yeah. Can you actually hit them into enemies? Or do I they just fly off? I'll try it in a second and get clear of these guys. I don't, don't want to waste the preserve meter. Yeah, yeah. Can you use them off? Don't get killed. Oh my god, just can stay in one direction. Fighting guts on which direction he attacks in. It's kind of frustrating. Oh, there we go. Sweet. So there's also a jump attack. I haven't used it very much, but... Um, I can use that. Uh, and you, know, uh, you know, when you shoot the cannon, you can also do, like, uh, a oh, reverse. You, know? you can? Yeah. Yeah, you can, yeah. I did not know that. It's got like, yeah. a signature move. Yeah, from uh, the last year in chapter. You can do that in the game. And he did it again uh, against the sea monsters. Yep, yep, yep. The slugs. You, you yeah, you have to uh, like to shoot the cannon and like do back and it all as a swinging uh, thing. So that was not a quick time event. I just fell off of a cliff. <laughs> establish there's more monsters coming. Ugh. <laughs> I remember not enjoying seeing that thing coming. Yeah. Yeah, you think it's gonna be a boss and then it's not. Yeah, and then I kill him in like two hits. <laughs> oh man, I messed that frog right up. Yeah. <laughs> he done like three gallons of blood inside. <laughs> oh god. Come on, get clear this. You're getting mold. Uh -oh. Boom! Wow, nice! Whoa. Yeah, line that up. No, more frogs. So there actually is a way to do like a spinning attack. I'm trying, I've been trying to just experiment a little bit. I think it's you hold B down. It looks cool when you pull it off. I'll look at it on the instructions in the cutscene or so. Is that it? Oh yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Nice. So I'm, I'm all filled up. Alright, I'll crank nice. the volume for this scene. Nice, peaceful village. <sighs> they do all these weird noises of tranquility. Mm hmm. Are you sure we can find a great tree in this village? We must. Oh. The ironic thing is, these Mandragora zombies are more lively than we are. It's strange. So. It's all the fault of these things, huh? <laughs> Stop! Huh? What is it? Yeah. Must. Did Guts even cover his ears? I had the same question. I don't think he did. He's Guts, though. Yeah, yeah I just lived wife. through it. <laughs> I seem to remember he doing it, but, you know, yeah, he's not yeah. sure. And also, I was thinking, because I assumed he did too, I was thinking, how does he cover his metal hand effectively? <laughs> like, yeah. how does he cut them, basically? It doesn't matter. He's just like, fuck it. Yeah. I can live through it. 
He just grit his teeth. <laughs> I <laughs> like the little backwards grab yeah. there. Oh, I remember this is pretty annoying. Yeah. Alright, so how about that spinning attack? He's got to save it for when he's got an explodable enemy. It's mm -hmm. worthy. Aha! Uh -huh. Here comes the matrons. <laughs> well, I didn't let her in on. The matron kind of reminded me of the the sea slugs. Yeah. Like a tentacle, basically. I gotta, like, you know, give the game credit for having female enemies. I know the things that games did not do very much at the time. Kids too. It's got children. Yeah, and frogs. <laughs> I really like that music. actually all pretty excellent. The, the original stuff by uh, yeah, Kurosawa, but, well. also the, yeah. but also the, the stuff they have to complement it is pretty good too. Yeah, the ambient stuff is pretty nice, yeah. Uh, I just realized I've been muted the whole time. I've been saying some, some real zingers, guys. <laughs> oh, well, we did not hear you. It's <laughs> all your best stuff. Uh, uh, oh well. We, we thought you were just like super focused there. No. Yeah, I thought you were checking out how to do the spinning attack. Well, I did. I was. <laughs> um, I, anyway. Hi. How are you? <laughs> clear. Clear. I like that they always end with him slashing stuff up. Return the Mandragora you uprooted to the earth. What? You probably should have told me before I killed 50 of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You must be the nun who looks after them. Yeah, maybe it's the nun. <laughs> I am Eliza. Why such senseless killing? <laughs> These children have done nothing. They are harmless as long as you don't attack them. And yet you... <laughs> but I... What a guilt trip. Yeah. They got what her happened? five minutes after you after left. left Balzac's troops came down. How'd you run they through those frogs? The <laughs> I left a shitload of them back there. Listen to the dialogue. You have to bring the heart. Bastard! Okay, sister. You heard her. Where's the tree? <laughs> hey! There used to be a boy named Nico in this He was simple-minded, and he sometimes disturbed the crops. But he was a good boy at heart. Gentle. He would never hurt another person. Even when the villagers teased him, threw stones at him, or beat him with sticks, Nico was just happy for the gift of life. He marveled at a sunny sky, and no matter what his misfortune, he was always smiling. One winter day, Nico was on the brink of death from hunger. The crops had failed that year. Not a single person would give him any food. With the last of his strength, Nico managed to crawl to the church. But I didn't even notice him. The sound of the door opening was drowned out by the New Year's bell. When I found him, he was... Never did a thing wrong. He was just a little different from the others. Why was he treated so cruelly, so callously? 
Why did Nico have to die? What's interesting is that uh, it's a version of the story, but it's not actually true. Yes. Yeah, the, the, the final image tells a bit more, of course. The sweetest boy Tim Guts gets to know. To meet. So are all these Mandragorans here, right? But they've taken enough lives already. Just back there, they wiped out my entire party. That's because you unwittingly broke a taboo. The Mandragorans will never attack anyone unless you pull up one of their saplings or try to harm them. Or look at them but funny. But most people hound them. <laughs> Call them monsters. Push them out. And Balzac. He says it's for the town's sake. He hunts them, captures them, takes their lives as though they were insects. I think people who can only show their fear and ambition through violence are the hardest souls to save. They see everything as a threat. Please, spare this village. I beg you, leave us alone. We are happy with the way things are. But if we don't do anything, the Mandragorans will just keep spreading. I don't think you'll find anyone who wants to become one. Really? But I want to. Listen, the people in that town, or the people in this village... Let me ask you, who do you think is happier? Huh? Pride, sadness, anger, ambition, or perhaps love and affection. Who is happier? Those who suffer with those same emotions that cause us to repeat our blood-soaked history? Or those who, though odd-looking, are free from that. Smiling and laughing like children. Simple, true emotions. <laughs> well, right on cue. Think? I... <laughs> <laughs> What's interesting is, like, as said, this is actually a manipulative... look different... Because mm -hmm. she and is one of them. Different, then they are Spoiler. Not human. I don't care about spoilers, necessarily. It's true. <laughs> Yeah. Humans are greedy and vicious. So then you agree with me? No, sorry. You see, I'm a human. I don't mind spilling blood to get what I want. <laughs> sorry if that shocks you and ruins your plans, but I'm taking the heart of the great tree with me. Just quietly hand it over. Don't try anything, sister. Guts. Love guts. Like I don't give a fuck. He's like, give me what I want. He's like a total thug because of that voice yeah. actor. He's like, give me the heart. Nobody gets hurt. <laughs> Town didn't pay your protection money. Looks a lot like Enoch <laughs> Village's church. Yeah. yeah. Well, it looks like a shitty, you know, small town church. Sure. You're, well, here yeah, we go. totally. European old church. <laughs> you think you've managed to kidnap Casca, but you forgot about little old me. <laughs> Puck to the rescue! <laughs> Eight camera angles. That old guy. I knew we could never trust him. <gasps> <laughs> I told you I'm not a toy. Well, anyway, we better get out of here soon. If those guards find me in here, we'll both be killed. Huh? Oh no! Yikes! Would have been cool to have the um the boy make an appearance in some way. <laughs> Don't touch her, yeah. Way. A little early for that, obviously. Oh! Oh, no. What's interesting is, uh... His <laughs> Magic. You're that branded swordsman's woman. 
That actually makes more sense now than it did at the time. He must be nearby. Interesting. Something else fun to do. <laughs> he probably meant, you know, evil power instead of magic, but right. yeah. That was close. But what was that all about? What was he doing here? Wait, he just Thought told you. Real trouble. Look, Casca. Our lucky break. Yeah, it's worth oh, noting that the translation for this game is notoriously here, not Costco, great. Yeah, it's not so that accurate. There are many scenes that, well, there's a couple scenes I'll try to correct whenever I well, think about it. What's One in funny particular. is how that line at the time was, is a total misnomer, and now it's like, well, that actually kind of makes sense <laughs> if he said magic, because, you know, magic is much more prevalent so in the concept mm -hmm. at that point, if or at this point. If we don't meet soon, but this is right where we were before. <gasps> Wall's terrified. I don't care, I'm still Team Balzac. <laughs> the, that that hippy-dippy crap made no sense. <laughs> She's a liar. You know, the Mandragora only attack you if you see them or interact with them. Otherwise, they're fine. <laughs> it's horrible. Look at these experiments. They're here. It's very like volume 19. Oh, yeah. Puck should hide in the helmet real quick. Mm hmm. Are they here? No, check over there. Look over close. there. Oh, God. Is her name Annette? Yes. Yeah. She looks like a creepy Resident Evil character, actually. This is Balzac's wife, right? Then Interesting this little storytelling that she's still young. Yeah. She looks mm -hmm. just oh yeah, like Puck thinks mother. it's the daughter. But yes. How such a scary dad have such a sweet daughter? I guess the apple fell far from that tree. Or she was just plain lucky. <laughs> oh no, they're here! What do we do? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Look, a hidden door. Casca! We're going now! <laughs> hey, clever. Yeah. Resourceful elf. <laughs> huh? What's this room? The heart of darkness. What the heck? How creepy is that? Hey, a baby. Hang on. Oh, Casca, don't touch. <laughs> Makes sense, you know. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing there? You leave that heart alone. It's mine. Another female enemy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot about these little guys. <laughs> yeah, so much story. Wow. Is there a monster fighting in this monster fighting game? <laughs> I'm confused. But 
<laughs> Look. the heart of the Mandragora <laughs> to save Casca, right? Oh, I wish he kicked it over. Just Something kick it over. That would be awesome. Why would a church have something like this? You just wait here. Hey, I'm going too. I work better alone. So yeah, I mean, we didn't speak about it, but the fact that Guts saw a Behirat, or Guts actually didn't say it, the audience saw the Behirat in that one scene with yeah. Nico, it kind of like loops, and loops back for fans or readers that there's some kind of apostle connection here going on. Yeah. The Mandragore previously, of course, wasn't explained about you know what it is or why it is, and now you get the sense that perhaps it's connected to an apostle. Yeah. Also, for someone who like doesn't know the manga, just yeah. plays a game, you know, that's yeah. like very confusing. Yep. Totally. Well, actually. I I've known a few people who actually discovered Berserk through that game. Oh yeah, totally. And, uh, yeah, so th that's interesting. Even in France. Well, they probably think, you know, the whole, like, all this stuff with, you know, the Apostles and Zod, all that weirdness is like, oh, so that's just background for the Mandragora, right? <laughs> the zombie. <Yeah. laughs> Ooh, barely made that one. Nice. <laughs> Almost walked right into it. What's funny Reflexing. is they, tel they telegraph that it's gonna happen like for 30 seconds, and then they only give you a split second to hit the button. They flash yeah. on the screen. Yeah, you well, can that... only get it right if you, if you you know played before. Oh my god, you can't even run away once you get locked in this animation. Oh, are you serious? Oof. Yeah, you gotta do your dodge. I'm just gonna see if I can. I think I can just run past these guys. Escape! <laughs> oh, oh, wow! Nice. Oh my god, there's so many! Uh oh. And then you have to kill them all. <laughs> Shit. He's the wrong place. Use your, powder, see guts. You, use, your, use your powder, man. You're gonna die. Yeah. I'm just trying to save it. I can't even see where I'm supposed to be going. Okay, I'll, I'll clear the screen. Is it around the back there? I thought that's yeah. where I was. This is the authentic experience of playing this game. You're getting stuck by people hugging or humping your legs. But anyway, uh, Balzac's big ulterior motive, in my mind, is basically the founder. Oh yeah, for his for his wife in particular. Well, for I think he wants it for himself too. And yeah. It, it, it makes me question: Did he was he experimenting on his wife basically? Mm. Oh wow. Did he take uh, her this way? I think not at first, but you know, then you know, he explains it later on. He, you know, he felt fatigue. You know, I remember he used that word. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, I think, yeah, at first he wanted to cure Annette because she had like a, a disease, you know, a lethal disease. Oh, but... yeah, you know what? It's a very, if, to, thematically, I mean, obviously Guts parallels with Casca, but I think it, uh, it goes Sorry. even further where he basically says, I'm tired of, you know, dealing with this shit. Yeah, you know, I forgot like, about and that. Guts, and Guts sees himself, they're like, ugh. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> pretty annoying. <laughs> My god, man. Pulling boulders and you know these little things on the floor. Yeah, well, and you yeah, see, I remember. I don't even remember this part. I just remember the frustration. I can't even this game move. I played it a lot. Yeah, yeah. For a game that I didn't like that much, like the gameplay. <laughs> I think you. Yeah. Oh wow. Here's Nico. So you found. Oh, I love this move by her. Uh, now he's plugging his ears. And she's showing her true self. She was a mandragora all along. All that love and peace crap. Now I see. I knew it. I didn't notice because there were so many around. But you're a mandragora too. You just don't understand. That's a 
it up already. Don't hurt me anymore. Got it. I won't give it to you. What? I hit that. Oh, come on. Damn, you're dead. I fucking nailed it, too. You can lose the whole game right here. Don't hurt me anymore. No! There we go. Save state. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I gotta lower the volume on very, the audio. There we it's go. a very, like, Zelda monster right here. Yeah. yeah. Big, you know. Three forms. Or three, like, uh, go modes. <laughs> Got to disable one of the hands, hands of the one at a one at a time. There we go. I actually looked at a couple of the speed runs for this game, and uh, <laughs> there are not very many, despite the speed running being a huge thing on the internet. There, are all the ones that I saw, were, I put all the boss fights, and none of them were none of them were super impressive. Of course, is the part that was in Balzac's bitch. Yeah, grew that regrew there. Yeah. Mm. When did all this happen? <laughs> we found another one. A mandragora monster. That's where shit gets real in this game. <laughs> you. Well, it never ends. Lead me to your side and somehow bring peace to these evil sinners. Don't! No! Nice necklace. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, another first reference. Time. How could she? Yeah, like, yeah. gotta be the first time we see that. Uh, probably. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. It was, no, it was volume was 14. It, on a, it was on a grave, yeah, or something yeah. like yeah. that. Yeah. Or one of the churches. Yeah, yep. in 17 we, we get to Fort see it, you too. Hey, those are the ones who took Casca. You. Uh, what we missed is there's a bear it on it. Doing here. Oh yeah. We were watching you. One of my henchmen was lucky enough to see you taken to that sanctuary of sedition. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to you, we've rid the town of those parasites. But you're an outsider to our conflict. Unfortunately, I cannot allow one such as you to gain any further insight into my secret hmm. plans. Oh, it's because they're super quick. <laughs> yeah, you won't be laughing much say. longer. Oh, yeah. Don't forget that we have a hostage dear to you. <laughs> what? Zod! Heavens! It's it's a monster! Look at one of me! This is a <laughs> Yeah, so this line is absolutely botched. That's I'll, not at all what it says. I'll correct it once we get to the game. Planning on raising an army of monsters? Perhaps later. But how fortunate it was to meet you here. Shall we settle our business here? I will teach you what real pain is. <laughs> So, yeah, as Azil pointed out, that, that line in particular is uh, pretty rough from Zod. Uh, it's, an ex it's a good example of the translation not being too great. 
but uh, I wanted to read uh, Olivier uh, Agay's translation of that line. Uh, Zod says, It looks like I'm too late. I intended to test him with my bare hands, referring to Nico, of course. But if a mere human could defeat him, I guess the Falcon would have no use for him anyway. So it explains Zod's appearance in this game. He's scouting for apostles <laughs> for the Apostle Army. Um, yeah. And obviously Guts got to Nico first, so it kind of... Zod takes an opportunity to attack Guts. And, uh, yeah, it's interesting, again, that the, like the game shows events so far ahead, you know, that Griff is already raising an army of apostles, some things that happen right. really much later in the, in the manga. It's so confusing that, like, you might think, you know, Zod's already, like, scouting before the was reborn, because they don't even, like, yeah. <laughs> here. Like... He's looking for warriors. This is the hardest fight in the Guts, game, by the way. Guts yeah. About it too. Yeah. What I like about this is that Zod is the hardest enemy in the game, which yeah. is how it should be. So that's pretty cool. But it's not cool because it's in the middle of the game. <laughs> so yeah. That's yeah. Wally's getting fucked up. He's getting. I've only had to use one elf dust. Yeah, you're playing it easy, man. <laughs> yeah. No, I wanted to say before we get too far away from it that. Uh, Basically, uh, Ezra and Nico committing suicide is pretty pretty interesting. It kind of supports her whole case that they did. You know, they were the peace and love apostles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and uh, like uh, the Mandragora itself, you know, is based on Nico, and he, you know, he was simple-minded and peaceful, and yeah. that's who these guys are as well. Impressive. What's stopping you? I'm still alive! <sighs> that is enough for today. We both have other things to do for now. Before you and I can savor the sweet flesh of death, we must remove the small bone which impede us. What? You better hurry. That branded girl is in trouble. Zod is like uncharacteristically God, helpful God. even for himself here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, they're bros. That's the buddy cop comedy. <laughs> yeah. To happen. Huh? What have I been doing? I forgot oh, that. <laughs> what have I been doing with my life? Hold, hold <laughs> I am. The great tree is destroyed. The saplings are dying. The people are returning to normal. Thank goodness it's over. Oh no. He's dead! What happened? Oh shit. Daddy? Mommy? Oh you god. Not blood. again. Did you do this? It's oh, him! No. He killed my baby! You bastard! You call yourself a man! <laughs> they haven't been back to normal for like more than a few seconds or so. Yeah. <laughs> He's walking into the fire. Yeah. <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'll just kill myself. <laughs> Eliza was right. So, um, <laughs> yeah, one of the things that's interesting about Zad in this game is that it shows, you know, um, a more evolved side of him, which we also get it? to see later on in the series. Yeah. And the Mandragorans in the capital Also. Sounds like the end game. Yeah, almost. It's, it's, a lot. it's actually time-wise probably like a half, honestly. Nice move. Everyone's so strange. Here we go. So yeah, what um, say, go ahead. Uh, about God. Just like, yeah. where did he actually have to go? Like that urgently. Like, you know, it's not like, you know, all my one-hour photos are ready. <laughs> you know, I gotta go right now. It's like, I'm pretty sure whatever it was could have waited. So he, it does seem like he just gave Gus a break. Here. Yeah. Well, much like he gave him one uh, in Britannis, you know? Yeah. yeah. That's true. He wanted to finish the fight, but he had other things to do. He had direct things to do there, right? Yeah. I, I yeah, he had to do that. 
Yeah, what he tells Guts, uh, why it's, it doesn't trust him when in English, but he says that basically Guts can't fight to his fullest when he's right. worried about Casca. So. Ah. Yeah, that's what he's talking about, you know, saying a small boss that he beat us, it's a Japanese thing, so they just, you know, didn't trust him very well. There's a lot of enemies on screen. So why didn't these guys return to normal? I don't remember the reason yeah. for that. Oh, the heart. Well, yeah, yeah, because the heart uh, still yeah. Nico, I've got the heart remains. Nico lives. Yeah. So that's an interesting thing too, by the way, the fact that the main apostle is dead, but a part of him maintains yeah. these guys alive. Oh, just let me get on my feet. There we go. Right, now we're so talking. If he wasn't in that stuff, he would just grow back into a new form anyway. Yeah. Is Nico the most powerful of all the apostles? <laughs> Check out my no. YouTube video to find no, out. He's, yeah, no, he's not. <laughs> all right. I keep moving the right analog stick to uh, change the camera angle, but nope, nothing doing. You're just stuck with this camera. <laughs> I think he changes the uh, sword. I hit you know. the wrong button. Doesn't he change the direction of the sword? Mm, no. There's, there's no other. The Dream Dreamcast only had one analog stick. Okay. I don't even remember. One thing we should mention is that, uh, you know, save cards on this uh, console had. Uh, you could buy some with a little screen. And uh, they had uh, two buttons and you could play a little game on it. And uh, for this game, it's a, it's a game with pack. And uh, when you're playing, you know, you got, you know, Puck showing little faces and doing stuff when you did well or bad, that kind of stuff. So that's cute. Yeah, the, um, the v version of the video that I'm going to output actually is capturing the VFU screens in which Puck is doing some fighting moves. Nice. Uh, or if you put your sword away, he does a different pose. There's lots of different poses he'll do. Yeah, these are cute. It's pretty cool. Pix yeah, some pixel art. I literally don't know where I'm going at this point. Seems like I should be going that way. Yeah, try to break the door. <laughs> you can't go to the right or left. Hmm. This is where the video ends, folks. <laughs> oh, right here. <laughs> this is probably it. Yep. What do you oh, know? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, the are back. Yeah. Right in this tiny corridor too. Perfectly. Thanks. It makes more sense to be in this town than in uh, in the forest. Yeah. Which is those spiked collars. This is, um, yeah. this actually the stairway. This is where the Capra demon actually attacks you. You gotta climb these stairs oh, and then wow. jump down here. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> what a reference. <laughs> it's only because I did that fight about 40 times that I remember yeah. that scene yeah, so only, well. Only you would remember it so well. Okay. Hey, I got it right away. Yeah, same thing. I, I got one shot at that boss. <laughs> no, I bet uh, I just got you the meant you got the reference. <laughs> yeah, I also got it right away. <laughs> but I felt like mentioning that I, you know, had no problem killing that boss. I don't like, like the Capra. We're way, we're far afield now. Yeah. God damn, I want damn, item get. Such a maze. Oh no. Oh wow, you're getting, you're getting fucked. Gonna have to use it. <laughs> <laughs> got it. Use, use it. Oh my god. Use a cannon. Um, no. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, come on, are you serious? You're kidding, little girls. You should be ashamed of yourself. That's the way. I'm a human, I don't care. Where are the drugs? Yeah. yeah. I'm a human, I don't mind killing everybody to get what I want. <laughs> Oh my god, that's a lot of dogs. Oh my god, you're berserk. You're in the kennels. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. That is a lot of dogs. This is the Isle of Dogs. <laughs> Great reference. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You did? Uh, oh. Damn. It's because it's. it tells me B-A. Uh, or, you know, sorry, the Dreamcast controller is X, Y, A, B. I'm used oh, to the, sw the Switch all... controllers, and Nintendo was backwards, so my reflexes uh -huh. are different. That's why Sega went out of business. Oh, boys, are frogs. Die, frogs. <laughs> no offense. 
He was the one who's getting killed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm with the frogs. <laughs> I'm just gonna run well, like through the Like I said, I'm, I'm team Bob oh, back in this game. I mean, you can actually... <laughs> nope, 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 not doing it. Not doing it. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah. Yep, slam all you want, buddy. I'm out of here. Yeah, he's slamming his face on the ground. Oh, this frog is sucking my throat dry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo. Vampire get frog. There. Item get. Item get. No. You haven't used anything. Oh, you used the powder. Yeah, earlier. All right, mm -hmm. thank God. See, there's really no reason to waste your time on shit like that. Because you'll just end up using items or using continues on screens that don't do anything. <laughs> Well, I think if you play in a harder mode, uh, you kind of get... You gotta kill a few to get through, you know? Because there's so many. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, you you, you have to dodge most of this. Otherwise, you just... Those guys uh, remind me kind of of Sondark. Oh, yeah. I like the idea of those guys, of quasi-apostles turned, you know, to yeah. some kind of force. I like the idea of that. Yeah, so yeah, weaponized... <laughs> It's basically like the Bhutani Corporation, you know, but yeah. in the Berserk world, like we've you know, the monsters. What's funny is we might actually get to see that in Falconia yet, you know, I mean, it's yeah. possible to end up doing it anyway, so... I hope so. Yes. I hope well, that doesn't uh, back. I've seen this before. <laughs> well, and Kanishka did it too, basically, with the Daka. Yeah, that's true. There's a section on the roof here that's pretty tough. I only have a little bit of health left, so I'll probably have to use it. Health dust. Is it in like uh There's just a lot of enemies. An Orlando or something like that? Yeah, it's like in Orlando. <laughs> That's kind of a Street of Rage uh, sound, you know. Yeah. <laughs> wow, he's throwing rocks at you. You know the Streets of Rage 2 character, the main bad guy's name is Garcia, right? Or G yeah. Gal Galzia. I didn't realize until very recently that it's supposed to be saying Garcia, which is a very obvious, yeah. like, bad translation. My yeah. entire childhood I thought Galzia was just kind of a weird name, but it's you supposed to be... Got, um, Berserk names, uh, you know, in, uh, in those games, you know, you get uh, Behirits. That's right, oh, Behirits. Oh, yeah, Griffiths. Oh, yeah. Aliens, that's Griffiths and Casca also. That's right, Casca too, I forgot about that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty oh, crazy. God. Those were the true early fans of Berserk. See, my uh, god, I got caught in like an 18 animation. Yeah. Alright. Use this to cross to crossbow. Nah, I'm just gonna Berserk through it. Turn on, turn on Berserk mode. That's a control gameplay, you know? Where you just smash everything. <laughs> uh huh. Yep, there's the more of guys. them. Fuck them up. No, no, Guts, they're this way. There we go. That was not so bad. Nope. Guts, they're over here. There we go. God, I must have blocked all this out. I just remember you get to the castle, you fight some guys, and then it's like, you know, the corridor over the tentacles or whatever. I did not remember there being, you know, 500. <laughs> There's a lot more, too, once you get to the castle. Not, that's not too far, right? I mean, we get to the castle soon. Yeah, I think it's two screens away. Which, it's a ah, here we go. Oh, no. There's a lot once you get in the castle too. There's a lot more like this in the entryway. Oh, I think I remember that. It's basically you're basically replaying the Black Swordsman arc here. <laughs> yeah. Like it really is. It's him just infiltrating the castle. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's nice. It's effective. Yeah. Oh my God! Get me out of this corner. I'm just trying to get out of the corner, guys. Give me a fucking break. 
It seemed to me like you went to the corner in the first place. The camera pushed me there is what happened. Yeah. Uh -huh. I was going away and then the camera moved. You're getting, you're getting fucked. I'm, gonna I'm aware of that. It's just funny that this game has limited continues, so you can get nine. <laughs> now it's berserk mode. Limited. I know the limited continues is a sign of the times, really. Yeah. Yeah, that's, like, that's just so brutal. It's just dumb. Like, it doesn't make any sense yeah. why that would be. Why it's also because the game is uh, very heavy on the narration, so the gameplay is actually like there's not too much of it, like it's a few hours at most. So yeah, they had to like create difficulty artificially, you know, that I mean, you know, that game did a lot again narratively, but in terms of gameplay it's also quite short, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But that's that's because, you know, again it's a story, so it can't go on forever. It's actually quite short. I mean, Guts just comes to the town and the castle, he goes to the village, and then he comes back, and that's it. Yeah. That's the journey. It's some things that, like, five episodes of the manga I could take care of. <laughs> oh, maybe. Maybe a bit more. I feel like it's a volume, but it's just a guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I guess the volume is, is proper. Yeah, um... I'm gonna pause for a minute just to talk a little, a bit, a little bit about that, because it's hard for me to play and talk at the same time, but... Um, Miura in the interview talks about, you know, where he got the concept for this, the Mandragora, and he said he plucked it from an idea he had for when Guts would have been in the Black Swordsman section, but did not end up using it for the manga, and he picked it back up for this uh. game. Because it made sense for, as I already said, to have variations of enemies, the Mandragora is kind of the through line for that. Um, he didn't specify in the interview whether he meant, you know, volume one to three era Black Swordsman or, you know, "Quote unquote Black Swordsman Returns Volume 14, right. 15 or so. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really say. Um, that's a cool idea though that he had been sitting on a man, the idea of the Mandragora for a while. Yeah, for sure. And we actually do see a little Mandragora for us uh, mention way after that. That's right. Yeah, kind of a reference for yeah, that. Yeah, that plays with. Yeah. Um, the other thing was. Also... Uh, Go ahead. Go ahead. No, you good. All right, well, I mean, it's kind of, I mean, it, at the time when I was playing this, I kind of felt like it was a play on the Black Swordsman arc and the Lost Children arc. It was like a combination of concepts. That's sort of how it plays out. You know? I mean, you've got this sort of infestation of swarm enemy. Right. But it's also more of a humanoid uh, kind of design and shape. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, why are you doing that? These off-screen bow attacks are just the fucking worst. <laughs> oh, he's gonna go berserk! Right, right, right. It always happens when I don't need it to happen, because there's yeah, only one there's enemy like one left. left yeah, him. great. Oh, here they are. <laughs> Hit him with the hilt five times, there we go. Oh, come on! No, come on! Oh. Are you serious? I was waiting for berserk mode to kick in. Yeah, you should have used your powder. Can you break these, uh, you know, uh, wooden, you know, uh, support thing? To... No, I've been hitting them over and over yeah. through the course of the fight. That would be nice. Again, like that would be a nice reference to the Black Souls Monarch. The end of Volume One. Yeah, and the other question about the, the manga interaction with this is, you know, I wonder if he ever intended to put it in the manga. That would have been neat. I don't think so. I mean. I... No, I don't. No. Go ahead. He did not intend to put it in the manga, but uh, it was supposed to like link up. You know what I mean? Like uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it ended up not happening. And it's funny because there's a a character uh, that's called Nico that appears very briefly in the manga, but which is not related to the actual Nico in the game. So it c yeah, it can't be. Just, it wouldn't make any sense for it to be. Yeah, yeah. It's just yeah, unrelated. But uh, people speculated a lot at the time, I don't know if you remember, because we see Zod flying overhead, well, and, and uh... He wears a hat, and it has the same name, and it's around the same time of the month. I can see why people would make the argument, but there's there's nothing to say about it. Like, it just... it doesn't yeah. link up, period, you know? Yeah, to, to me it's more like uh, well, I think we, uh, a little reference at best. Well, I think we had, at the time, before we came to this we figured out when it happened. 
It would have been like after uh, the fight on the Hill of Swords, and we mm -hmm. could just see them, you know. Like it, it would have, and then winter comes, and it would have been some time before that we decided if you were gonna say like, oh hey, there's Nico, even though it wouldn't make sense because he was supposed to have uh, transformed years earlier. So right. it's, it's funny actually because uh, in Young Animal, uh, the magazine in which Berserk is published, they actually said uh, when that game uh, was supposed to take place, you know. Like oh, yeah. when, I forgot which episode it is, but yeah, when it's... it was released in the magazine, they said this is when, uh, you know, the, um, the basic uh, Dreamcast game, you know, uh, took place. It's directly after the Hill of Swords when they're in Shet, when uh, Griffith goes into Shet and meets up with Sonya. Okay. It's 185, I think, 184. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sounds up the right. So this one guy over here has been preventing me from progressing. Well, Maybe one more guy. No, no more. He has this guy shooting arrows at you. Oh, crossbow balls, Shrasner. Where the fuck is he? You! Yeah. Ah, little weasel. <laughs> Come here, bitch. You gotta give him credit for being strategically placed, you know, in the corner. For <laughs> fucking strategically <laughs> running away. He's still trying to get away, like. Yeah, nice. How do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take stuff his own medicine. Oh my god, that was a painful sequence. All right. Elf dust, excellent. I'm back to full items, which is where I want to be. Who is she? Balsack's daughter. We saw her before. Balsack's? Balsack's? <laughs> well, we can't just leave her here. Agreed. Come with us. Okay, we're off. Don't get lost. I mean, at this point, I think Guts would be actually interested in a hostage. <laughs> uh, there's a guy yeah. right in front of me. <laughs> Classic. Classic Guts. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Running away from his enemies. Yep, that's cla that's just Classic Guts. guts. Oh, yeah. shit. At least there's a little more room in here. Getting interrupted yeah. is just the worst feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really the main pain part of the game. It's the sword hitting all the walls and stuff. Okay, I got five guys. That's why. I got five guys lined up, and then you just whiff. Wow, getting fucked up. Well, oh, it's the introduction of them. I didn't. I've already fought them. Okay. I like this weird, like, John Carpenter music. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love that one. It's great. So there's actually, um, the soundtrack, all the dramatic scenes were done by Suzu Mihirazawa, but there's another person that did, uh, all the other background music you're hearing here, the menu music, which is also really good. Um, but I like that Suzumu was very invested in this game. He had, you know, 12, I think it was, original tracks, which is substantial. Yeah. That's a... I don't, that's a I don't think that... Are you sure there's that many? I don't think so. I think it's more like uh, six. Eight. Oh, it's more than six. The soundtrack itself mm. is like 12 tracks. You can look it up real quick, if you don't mind. I'm... Well, yeah, but if the soundtrack is 12 tracks, he can't have done 12 tracks, right? Yeah. He's saying the OST, which does not include all the music in the game, is about 12 tracks. Oh, yeah. Is it... Uh, okay. Because there's ambient music, you know, that's not on the soundtrack, but I think on the like official OST, it's not all by Hirazawa. Mm -hmm. But uh, you can look, but I'm pretty sure uh, on the CD it's all yeah, Hirazawa. Yeah, 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 yeah. I trust you. Really getting used again out of the dungeons. Yeah. Oh my god. At least I have full health. So yeah, I, got, I guess yeah, we haven't really weighed in on this part of it yet, but like, I don't like playing this game mostly, but I do really yeah. like the game. Uh, I think it's a very, very cool, particularly for its time, like Brawler, or, you know, whatever you call those kind of games. I think it would have been, I, I think it was awesome at the time. Looking back now, it's a little bit of a slog. Uh, yeah, it's dated. I mean, it's just, it's, it's aged badly, but you know, that's what it is. Yeah. This is, it like it could have used a little more, a few more tweaks to really make it like a fun game rather than just sort of you know going through these fight scenes and then getting to the story. 
But it is still really cool to me. You know, in preparation for this podcast, I played through the game. Not the whole game, but a lot of the game multiple times. And it still impresses me now. Like, just the story sequences in general, like, they, they're better than they have any right to be for a Dreamcast game that's 20 years old. Like, really, still really effective storytelling. Hey, man, Shen, Shen Mu. Yeah, sure, Shen Mu. Yeah. So, so to get back to the uh, OST, yeah. Um, so yeah, on the official OST tracks four, six, seven, eight, and ten uh, were made by uh, you know Yuke's uh, in-house uh, composers, really? which are Masaya Emoto and Hiromi uh, Murakami. Okay. So yeah, uh, Hirazawa did release uh, his own version uh, on his website, but uh, this didn't have uh, this, but. The game's official OST doesn't have just Kirasawa music. Okay, my bad. So, yeah, his main contributions are Forces 2 and Kindra and... Um, None story. Sorry, Kindra. Nico. And, uh, and yeah, it's just like um, Monster 2 and... Uh, that does mean that they use the monster. Yeah. Oh my god, it's a lot of people. <laughs> it's off screen. <laughs> like, it's this kind of murder room. <laughs> That guy's just stuck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's, he's stuck and moving. Yep. But yeah, it's just like uh, 40 or so um, other ambient music stuff that's not, you know... I remember not, downloading uh, it at some point. Like, I yeah. got, you know, like basically ripped some all the tracks from the game. Yeah, yeah I actually, I, I have it online. Uh, like, if you go to Skullite.net, you can download it. I have a zip of it. A couple of them are really good. Interesting for, like, yeah. And a couple are just kind of whatever, but I, I really like the intro music or the, the menu music in this game, which is not by Zuzu. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, the intro is pretty cool. I really yeah, the like intro is great. And the item gets. I like, how they have the, I like how they have the upgraded monster armor that has the darker arms. <laughs> yeah. How it's locked. Come on, come on, give me some items. I'm looking for items. No items for you. Okay. No items right, in the right. torture room. Why am I even here? <laughs> Wait yeah. a minute, what? Where is the exit? Help me out, guys. Where should I go? It's here, it's here. There's a dull thing, yeah. Oh, no, it's a blood stain. <laughs> <laughs> well, huh. Ask this guy here. Oh, yeah, you, you can get through, you can get through, right? Oh, there's a stairway. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. It's just Everything's it's brown and gray. Perfectly into the wall, yeah. You want some of this? That guy looks like. You, you want some of this? Him. All right. Oh. Yeah, you're going the wrong direction. <laughs> what about item gets? I'm looking for item gets. That is, that is. There was, a, that is there was a box back there. Was this shit? <coughs> Attack! Did not get it. I'm dead. <laughs> That was pretty funny. <laughs> I hit the correct button if this were on a Nintendo Switch. I'm just saying. For the edification of myself. Mm hmm. You need to play your PlayStation 4 more. Yeah. No, there's a square, no, there's no square in circles here. <laughs> but at least the buttons would probably line yeah. up. Oh shit, this is the wrong time to put my Dragon Slayer away. So yeah, as, I can, as you guys can see, there's a few more fight scenes <laughs> past the, the town itself. Holy shit. Well, I think you're close to the end, right? I can't remember. Oh, I think this is the tentacle we'll arm. This once and for all. Get him! No, the, the tentacle room happens oh, after yeah. the um the big fight with the uh, Mandragore and baby thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It's when you go to Bullsack for the final fight. There we go. This is what I was waiting for. Perfect timing on my Berserk mode. Yeah, especially if you don't have anything powder. I know. Just blazing through, hoping to get to the other side of the stage. It's actually, I think there's two more waves. Yeah. Cannon! Oh, 
have a cannon. He's, a, he's out. Oh wow, you're out of everything. Uh oh, you're gonna die. Nice. Oh. Nice bombs. I got one left. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh, I'm fucked. Come on, man. Oh. Woof. I'm gonna save state right here. So yeah, I'm, I'm double cheating. I'm playing on the easy and I'm using save states. Although I've not had to use one. It's defensible since we don't want to get 90% of the way through the game. Yeah, and then reset. Yeah. And then I'll say, yeah. uh, pick up on this YouTube video. You get, all, you get all into it, like, I can do this! I don't need it! Oh, I just lost it. You should well, kill this sorry. little fucker with his crossbow, man. Uh, he's not the Get one messing me up, actually. It's these, these guys that do the over and over attacks. Yeah, but he's the most annoying one. Because of his face. <laughs> so, Azil, you were talking about God of War yesterday. Yeah. And the connection here, you think? Something like that, maybe? Yeah, no, it's just that, um, because I'm playing the latest one on, um, on the PS4, and uh, it reminded me, seeing this reminded me of the original God of War, where you get this um, gouge of rage, you know, and when you get, basically you take damage, you get angry, and then you go into, you know, like, spot and rage mode or whatever, and uh, it, it's uh, it's very similar to, uh, to how this game works, and uh, I wondered if uh, they did not get inspired by this at the time, you know, like when they made the first God of War game. But it's just like, it's just a thought I had. Uh, I don't know if there's any truth to it. I don't know if uh, there's any precedent for a game where you, like, uh, gain rage like that, and then you get, like, invincible and you just mess up every enemies for a while. I mean, my first thought was like a lemon break, but it's a little different. Obviously, it's not an RPG. Yeah, yeah, these are not quite the same. I say in terms of how it, you know, gain. Oh, this guy's been running around the whole time. You little piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. I told you you should have got. Yeah, nice, nice. <laughs> <laughs> this guy looks like Sonic the Hedgehog when I'm done with him. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Oh, he's actually got a lot of power. Like, hit him with a bomb. Oh, okay. <laughs> Die in the <laughs> corner, you old just... dude. Wait, where'd he go? He's down. He's down. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, he's come dead. on. Oh, no, he's no, not no, dead. Hi. I told you you should have gotten him. Okay, I would have wasted wow. time killing that guy, though. Alright, now we're done. He's been, uh, Clear. He's been taking a lot of magic aura juice. Didn't give me anything for that. Yeah. <laughs> Brutal. You came back. Hmm. What is she doing here? Damn you! What have you done with Kaska? This is business. You can't make a deal with empty hands. But you're too late anyway, fool. I can't give you what you want, or get what I want. Just tell me one thing. They used to call you Enlightened. What made you change? Hmm. When I was young, I fought to protect my people. And to protect my sickly, weakened wife. I didn't hesitate to risk my life or to spill others' blood on the ground. I was young. I had people to protect. <laughs> a land to rule. And someone to love. I feared nothing. I thought I could go on bearing every burden. But little by little, like snow piling up on top of me, I was engulfed in burden. Piled up? Oh, cruel time. Time? <laughs> You're young. You don't understand the strain. Unending battles. A turbulent land. Impoverished subjects. A wife who will never recover. It all just got heavier and 
heavier. Sorrow without end. Expectation turned to frustration. Love turned to obligation. Everything I valued was blanketed by fatigue. The only thing holding me up through it all was my attachment to the blood I'd spilled. <sighs> to spill the blood of men, that was the only thing that excited me. Blood smeared everywhere, bathing in its warmth. Spilling endless blood. That was very all dark. I wanted. But now... That joy seems to be at an end. But what about her? What will happen to her? She's your daughter. Isn't she enough? Can't she be your reason for living? She is not my daughter. She is Annette. My wife. <gasps> what? what? No idea what's happening. Cradle robber. She doesn't know who I am. Each day, I give her the drug extracted from the Mandragora heart. The drug that cures all ills. <laughs> it cured her every disease, it's true. But that's not the only thing it took away. It took all her memories, her passion, and even the time she spent walking with me is gone. Oh. But what do you mean? Most likely, she will continue forever to spend her days as a giggling child, oblivious. I am doomed to remember everything. Oh, it's just like gods in Casca. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> like, but yeah, Puck, that's not bad. You two aren't like that, are you? <laughs> yeah, it's quite obviously oh, supposed to be a reference to it. The path I walk may be stained with blood, yeah. but I shall walk it until the end. What? Just got a bunch of Freud's. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I forgot about this one. You fight him twice. Yeah. What is yeah. this wolf man for? I don't. Don't spoil it. Oh boy. So he's in Mandragora mode. Wait, this has cool pants going on with it. Yeah. Like, I remember being <laughs> confused by this at the time, thinking, "Oh, he's an apostle." Nah, obviously that's impossible. Uh, how, could, how could you be confused at the time? You've got no excuse. Huh? Was that, was that his 2000 at the time? Ah, okay, yeah. I'll give it to Plus, you. Plus, I think we were all assuming it was like, you know, analogous to the count. So he's secretly an apostle, yeah. but it's like, oh, he... he uh, <laughs> come on. Again, he's not I, have, I had not even finished the anime by the time I did that. Alright, alright. I played it a bit later, that's why. Okay. Now the tables are turned. I can get to it again. Dude. I know, he seems to be smart enough to avoid you with his temporarily. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> nice! <laughs> I did have to use Elf Dust, so well. You're dead, Berserk! <laughs> <laughs> you should teabag him. Can't, can't crouch way. in this game. How do you like that ball sack? <laughs> <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, there we go. 
you know, that thing always falls at the mm. most convenient times. So yeah, he well. jumps in the fire, and then uh, right by him. It's fate. It's got a mind of its own. Yeah. First time we saw Blue Beheret. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. What oh, now? yeah. That's instant death. Oh, I remember this. <laughs> hey, you just safe state, right? I'm gonna safe state it, yeah. Shit. There's a safe yeah. state right Too there. Late. <laughs> oh no, I'm, I'm already done. Yeah. Got a jump. Yeah, I know. Oh boy. Oh boy. The controls are not great here. No guts got a jump, dude. dude. Oh, I think you made it. What the Pick fuck? Up. Where did I make it to? <laughs> what? Wow, they stopped. Yeah, they'll come back. I gotta get a little further in. Do uh, another safe state. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I'm not ready! I'm fucked! Ah, uh, you're dead. You're <laughs> dead. Hey, only three credits. Yeah, this is the hardest part of the game. You, you can't really lose here. You can, like, you know, just lose the game here even if you... Yeah, I, re I think I remember that happening to me. Just yeah, like, I hate this game. Sa same. It really pissed me off at the time. Okay, I'm just... There's no way around that thing. Yeah, I it's just... that like, tiny sliver you go to safe state. I should have right then, yeah. It's unclear what button I'm supposed to be hitting here. Like, X doesn't do anything. B does that. There's no, there's no jump button in this game, I should say. Can you just smash them with a sword, maybe? I don't think you're supposed to. Uh-huh. Wow. I do not remember that. Wow. You, you're gonna get killed by That's the thing, right? I'm just gonna restart it again. And I will safety it next turn. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is a true, you know, sort of the Berserk experience. It really is. Yeah, this is what it's really like. Yeah. Okay. Alright. What button am I supposed to be pressing? Press every button, it doesn't matter. Okay, you're dead. Yeah, okay. That was that, yeah. that was my fault we're, for the first we're, time. Yeah. We're regressing here. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. a couple of the screens he'll walk right through those rocks, and yeah. not the case this time. Hmm. Try the one you were doing before X yeah, or whatever. It's, it's, I think it's A. Um, that's what work was working previously, but now it's just... Oh, now it doesn't work. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, it just hopped. Okay. <laughs> yep. Nope. Hopping. Hitting the A button. Same button as before. Just press it once, maybe? Hmm. Wow. Maybe slash the things? Oh yeah, maybe you have to kill them in half. Oh, wow. Like you, oh, you can actually break it. Nope, this is the wrong uh -oh. way. Wow, you managed to hot. Nice. Well, <laughs> So I can punch it. Bit of a slide. I should be able to slide attack. Can you hit it with the sword? Yeah, just hit it with the sword. Yeah, he's gonna break. Uh, it just it just take time to break, I think. Oh my god. Wow. Maybe they should have just not included the secrets. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, it's pretty bad. It's pretty rough. I just walked through the thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you pushed through. 
Okay, not gonna work this time. I think you can get yeah. through on the other side. Oh yeah? The yeah, left yeah. side? Yeah you, yeah, you need to try the left side now. I'm literally looking at a printout of the manual, which I have how do you, right here. How do, you do, how do you do the jumping attacks? Uh, it's square, I believe, or sorry, X. Let's try that real quick. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's why you couldn't get through. We'll see. I mean, you know, respect for getting that far with the jumping. Thank you. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. Uh, let me make sure OBS is now good. Yeah, all good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> boing, really boing, boing, boing. <laughs> well, you shouldn't be laughing. That's how you're supposed to get through this. Yep, let's do it. Yeah. Oh, that's much easier. Yeah. I'm a fucking pro now. Shit, fuck this. This is nothing. Oh, shit. Jump! Jump! <laughs> you still died. Yeah. Yeah, but good lord. Yeah, I mean, it's still a nightmare to get thrown. It's literally, you never have to jump in this game. Ever. <laughs> Other than this one sequence. Come on, you're almost, you're almost done! Imagine having to get... Oh, man. Okay. Save state, save state. I think that's the last one. Okay, now it makes more sense, because it's like, how could this be so much easier? Please, no! Oh, no! She's totally swallowed up! Casca! She's within the brain of the plant. But this is definitely the strangest... area of the game? Thing of yeah. the game? Like, I don't know how to rationalize a lot of that. <laughs> this is nice some video game ass shit right here. Nice graphics, though. Yeah. This reminds me of uh, the last, you know, the end fight of Mass Effect 2, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so those attacks there, you can't actually dodge them. I'm gonna go ahead and use my elf powder. Yeah, and you can't swing and hit the arms, but you can swing and hit it here. Got locked in the animation. Yeah, those attacks we cannot block. I don't think anyway. So yeah, I can guard if I hold down Y like that. It's so dumb you can't hit his arms. I like that the first time you've used a guard is at the second to last boss fight. I know. And I haven't had to. To actually guard is just yeah. to show people. You can. Optionally guard. <laughs> well, you're not doing a lot of damage, man. Oh, nice. No, I know. You really fucked him up with a cannon blast. Yeah, this is not going well. You need berserk mode. Yeah. Now, do you get berserk from being damaged or from hurting Both. Damage? It's limit break style. But you yeah, gotta do it before you die. Yeah. I won't finish the fight with one berserk mode either. Use the powder. I already did. He's down. Oh wow. I don't know man, that berserk mode. Like, yeah, you might actually get this. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, no. He's, he's I'll taking get it. away berserk mode. Yeah. But I finish him, finish him. Nice! Oh yeah, I just, just fall all weird. So yeah, this is a pretty key scene. Yeah, very important. <laughs> Kaska, Kaska, hang in there, my love. Uh, uh, Gatsu? 
Casca. You, you know, you know who I am. Katsu, my dear, I was dreaming. A really bad dream. Casca. back to normal because she was possessed by the Mandragora. It makes sane people crazy, but crazy people sane. Poor Gatsu. So close. Curse fate. <laughs> what? Yeah, I should don't Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Finally time for this body. To sink into the blood. blood. He looks awesome. <laughs> and she's yeah, just laughing. She's just laughing at him. <laughs> You're so dying. Lol. <laughs> yes, it is, isn't it? Actually, really cool here. I like that there's only the four of them. Mm -hmm. That is really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Because the fifth one is not here anymore. Jeez. He's got his uh, manticore form. It's actually kind of sad. He's a pretty cool apostle and he'll <laughs> for this fight. Yeah. <laughs> Sacrifice. Animal! You sacrifice her! I have to say, for all the plot in this game, they could have actually gone through the ceremony, I would have been fine with that. Yeah, totally. yeah. He's already at half health, by the way. Yeah, um, you got him. But I still, I still want to not make it because attack a lot of damage. You got a you got one F on the left. Oh so. yeah, I do. Yeah. This is too much to like make it easier to attack him. Yeah. The easy mode makes the boss fights really easy. It's true. Yeah. But it's, I think it's necessary just to get through the waves of enemies, but you're right, yeah. the boss fights are separate. Yeah, otherwise the like normal enemies are endless. And very hard to kill. How about those tentacles, though, huh? Hmm. <laughs> Shit. Everything seems to have quieted down, eh? Not exactly. Get out of town, you monster! We don't want any Mandragorans like you around here! Get lost! Wait! I'm not a Mandragoran! He's a liar. It's true. <laughs> Vicious and cruel. That's what humans are. Shit. Yeah, I like how the guy's like, I'm not a Mandragoran, though. He's a liar. They yeah. don't talk. <laughs> you know they don't talk. <laughs> Just an excuse to beat up some guy he doesn't like. <laughs> I know, let's kill him. So, this is where we bid farewell. Rita, are you okay by yourself? You've got to be kidding. I've always been on my own. Don't worry, my little friend. I'm a big girl. Hmm. On your own, you can go where the wind takes you. I wonder if I'll find something someday. Something worth shedding blood over. 
<laughs> Take care of yourselves. You too, Rita. What an adventure. I'll remember you all. Forever and ever. Hmm. Forever. Ah! You're a cold fish, as usual. Won't you ever say anything nice for a change? Oh, well, you got enough mouth for both of us, Carl. <laughs> You're always a crumb! Rita, who at the time felt sort of like the poor man's Jill. Yeah. yeah. People were like, oh, will, will she come back? Will she be in the manga? And uh, no. The answer is no. A little yeah. bit of a Sidro, too. It was slightly. Yeah. Yeah, she, she's kind of like him. Anyway, we didn't mention it, but yeah, that scene with uh, Casca when she wakes up for uh, just a moment. Uh, it's crazy because at the time people were like, oh, maybe, you know, it foreshadows. Uh, Oh, it's gonna be when she actually comes back, and uh, it actually did. Even yeah, though it, it, was, it was like 15 years later, but it did. I feel like even if, obviously, that was not the method by which she was restored, <laughs> and if you can disregard it as quasi-canon, this whole story, I think what its contribution is to that whole discussion is the fact that there is still a little bit of the original Casca still floating around inside of her, and that remained, as you say, true to what happened. Yeah, and I think, you know, I mean, you know, the fact she says she was, you know, stuck in a bad dream. Right. I, right. I, you know, I, feel, I feel like, you know, it's, it's not a coincidence. You know, Mira might already have had that idea at the time. And, uh, you know, I mean, for example, we know the Golden Age took uh, longer to get through that Mira intended at first. And it might be the same for, uh, you know, the trip to her farm. You know, he probably, like in volume 22, didn't expect it would take, you know, 15 volumes to get yeah. over with. When this yeah. was happening, he probably thought, well, you know, it'll probably come out around the same time I have her come back in the manga. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. <laughs> in the credits, you notice their uh, product supervisor was Akira Shimada, which is Miura's former editor, uh, who left in 2012. You really like that guy, don't you? I just think it's cool. I mean, I feel like he had, Miura had the kind of his right-hand man for the length of the series, and then... You know, he left in 2012, and there's now no we've direct... Got, now we've got the fire dragon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah there you yeah. go. <laughs> please come back. Mr. Shimada, yeah, yeah. please come back. I'll, I'll yeah, pay you. Please. I'll give you anything. We should do, a, you know, like one of those uh, raising funds campaigns. For yeah, a go, a go fund meet for, uh, you know, Akira Shimada. If he comes back, uh, Mira will draw the uh, Berserk uh, Dreamcast game into the manga. <laughs> I mean, you know, for all I know, all he did was deliver copies, you know, to Hakusensha or something like that, but he seems to have more involvement than that, I would imagine. Yeah, who knows. Anyway, I think these games would benefit from a, a remake, you know, because, like, the core of it, the designs Mira provided, the story, all of it is really solid, and uh, while the, you know, the technical side has aged pretty badly, but uh, I feel like you could remake a nice game out of it, even though it would you know, probably be just five hours max, but, you know. I think it would make a good... Yeah, I, I guess I wonder, like, if it would even work as a modern game. You'd have to totally change the gameplay sections, I think, and smooth them out. The story sections are good. Uh, I don't know, I feel like it's like a $20 kind of endeavor, maybe. Hmm. I don't know, this, the length of the game is problematic, I think, for modern a modern game. It's about two and a half hours tops. Yeah, uh... Well, not if you, uh don't know that tentacle jumping trick. Then oh it, yeah, the trick, the play. cheat code yeah. of hitting X. <laughs> you, almost, you almost got through that sequence without jumping, which is yeah. amazing. Yeah, it's impressive. But as being one... said, even knowing you can jump, you know, it's really easy to die in that part. Yeah. I also like, Griff, how you were, I'm not making fun of you, but you were insistent there was probably one more section of it. It just shows you how much you were haunted by that scene that you thought yeah. it was going to come back. What I meant was, is like even when you got past like that one you had to blow up and the one after it, there was yeah. still like multiple obstacles left, <laughs> and it was like you know like three or four in that corridor. So it was yeah. like at the rate we were going, it's like we're never gonna get through all of them. One last scene. Of course, the best oh, one. Yeah. This blew my mind at the time. I was like, oh boy. <laughs> Look. 
<laughs> I think when I first put Finn, yeah. <laughs> it's so artistic the way they ended it up there. No, I think at the time I was, I can't remember, I don't think I'd read the manga yet. And so I was like, what the hell was that? I had not. <laughs> mm. Yeah, sure, I'll save my game at the current stage. You know those pronouns, fun, by the way. Oh, was it? I thought it was fiend. No, it's fun. Fun, hmm. it means end. Oh. It's French. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's play the bugs game. Pucky. I love it. <laughs> I love it. You seen his little pouch? Yeah. I never played this. <laughs> Actually, Pick the direction with the cast. analog direction key. It's, 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 a button. it's pretty cool. Go. This is the most of Guts bag we have ever seen. <laughs> oh, it's a puzzle game. <laughs> oh, actually, it's not. It's a con. Whack-a-mole. Um, it seems the wrong place to discuss the significance of the story of this game. But, oh, um, why not? Why not? The, the uh, Japanese version of that scene with the Skull Knight is a slight difference to it. It's almost not even worth mentioning. And that is, there is a sound effect associated oh, with the Oh, God, you're going you're gonna to mention the emptiness sound effect or the, the fullness one. I remember discussion of yeah. that. Yeah, man. I think, it's, I think there's something there, although it's totally, it could have just been the sound effect person <laughs> chose to add it for dramatic okay. effect. But it, there's this like whining sound that happens, and then he puts it in his mouth, and then the silence, the silence happens. So I think it means he can pull a Behirat sword out of there. That's what I think. That's what it is. <laughs> I mean, it kind of. Again, it's pretty cool that you know. I mean, you get all these little canon references. You know, Oscar Knight getting the Behirat like he does. You know, at the end of the Lost Children chapter. It's all a nice stuff. little. It's yeah, a nice it's little like... Berserk summation, like, in a yeah. standalone yeah. story. It has a lot of the elements. I mean, they do the whole spilling blood for something, you know, you care about speech, which that's big with Griffith and Guts. They got, it's you know... Causality as well with Rita's scene. Yeah. yeah. And just and the whole Guts the fact... Yeah, and the fact the monster's not really bad, and, you know, like, the humans are yeah. evil. Yeah, it's all in there. The major themes. That's pretty cool. I love this animated little Mandragora. That's great. Yeah, I, I like Puck at the bottom. Just, you know. Fourth place. Hey. I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> you can't actually get out of this. There's no menu to escape. Yeah. The worst part of, uh, of this game is the voice acting. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Um... I think that's it. Movies, gallery. Oh, gallery, right. Some original CG stuff. Nice. Uh, mostly for promotion. Do, do we get uh, Mira's artwork for this, or is it not You have to uh, buy the book. Well, I mean, I get it. Don't have and his Don't. wife. <laughs> Print that out and put it on your wall. <laughs> Hanging out in the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> I like that he gets killed, you know, really easy. <laughs> I guess, you know, at this point, you had this huge CD and you wanted to fill it with shit. What is the use of it? I don't know. We just add it on there. Um, yeah, you mean it's not the CD, it's a GD ROM, right? So, I'm sorry, you're right. The GD ROM. <laughs> yeah. God damn, oh, boy. <laughs> so, yeah. I just kind of wanted to reiterate, you know, one of the main reasons we did this, of course, is because most people that would listen to our podcast, I'm assuming at this point, have not played this game. And this yeah. was a way for you to kind of experience it along with us. And I know I had not played through the whole game ever since I beat it in 2000. So that was interesting. Um, I've already kind of waited on my feelings about it. But if you've listened this far, thank you for listening. And um, do you guys have any closing thoughts? Uh, I still think this is the best browser game out of the yeah. three that have been released. Yeah. I mean, the PS2 game, the gameplay is much more satisfying, but the story is less good. So if you, you know, I mean, I think for what it's worth, even though it has aged, uh, the story is still started. And for people who can see through the pixels and the shitty textures, I mean, you know, the artwork, the designs, you know, everything's pretty good about this game. And for its time, it was really nice. 
And to me, uh, my big takeaway from this experience, uh, sort of re-experiencing the game, is sort of how, and you know, you can kind of see Mira's involvement. And just thinking about it in this context, it's almost like it was his chance to kind of moonlight as like a game producer, you know, through Berserk, you know, on this game. Because I mean, it really does feel like he was, you know, just so heavily involved with everything except like, you know, the most technical video gamey aspects. But it's very yeah. much his creation. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, it's unlikely we'll ever get a better game where Mia's is that involved like that, you know. Right, you know? where he's like <laughs> almost, you know, the, the visionary behind what's everything that's going on besides the, yeah. you know, hack and slash parts. In the uh, interview in the art book, he actually complains about the level of involvement he had. He said he was working 24-hour days writing versions of this, and there were he rewrote the story four times before they arrived at a final script for the game. Wow. wow. Um... Yeah, it's Mira being Hideo Kojima for you know, <laughs> for a for a while. I feel like its legacy is 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 a little tarnished because of the technology associated with it, and also the fact that it's on a, a dead platform. You know, you don't think of like the PlayStation One, for example. That still got a pretty lively what I would call scene or emulation scene. Like people have not forgotten about those games, whereas Dreamcast games, because the the system itself had such a short life, it's just kind of an oddity. It doesn't you know? have a big footprint. Right, well, totally. It's also, it's also because Sega died, you know, I mean, not yeah. died, but, you know, pretty much the same. And, like, on, a hard you know, like producer, yeah. Yeah, on the PS4, you can get, like, you know, PS1 games, you got the classics, and all, same thing for the Xbox, they got emulation, and Nintendo's the same. So, yeah, Sega, you know, I mean, who knows, maybe if Sega releases uh, a Dreamcast Classic, you know, these games. Sure, are, yeah. Yeah, might be the case. You know, I, among one of the shittiest titles, you know? <laughs> the, system, the system that killed us. The yeah. classic. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, some people, I mean, a few people still really love the Dreamcast, so. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't, I, thought... I don't think badly of the system. I just mean, I feel like this game's, you know, shelf life was shortened because of that. And it's kind yeah, of an yeah. oddity historically because of that. It's true. Right. If it was on Xbox or PlayStation, you'd be able to download some right. contemporary version of it, but you can't because it was on a yeah, like on a weird system that was a dead end. Yeah, and that died not long after. Yep. So yeah, that's Good mostly work. mostly what this video is for, is kinda like give people a chance to see that while also listening to our thoughts about it. Um so that was fun. Um also, a new thing. I've never streamed a game and commented on before, so I hope it worked out for everybody. hope it was entertaining. And that's it. Thanks for celebrating our 100th podcast with us, and we'll be back with more eventually, whenever we can get together. See you guys later. See later. ya.